beyond belief. Fact or fiction? Hosted by Jonathan Frakes. Tonight, your challenge is to separate what is true from what is false. Five stories, some real, some fake. Can you judge which are fact and which are fiction? To find out, you must enter a world of both truth and deception. A world that is beyond belief. An upside-down portrait of a vaguely familiar face. At first blush, it appears to be a normal photograph viewed from an unusual angle. But let's turn it over. My apologies to any children we just frightened, especially mine. As you can see, the photo is not what we expected. Our eyes processed false information to our brain, and we were tricked. Tonight, you'll be presented with five stories. We'll tell you which are true and which are false at the end of the show. Before you prejudge them, examine them from all angles, and don't accept anything at face value. Every week you see ads for house sitters in the paper. Have you ever considered being one? People who need to leave town are always willing to hire a responsible party to live in their home and make sure no harm befalls it while they're gone. Allie Prescott is taking on a house sitting job this weekend. She has lots of good books to read and a things to do list provided by the owner. But before this job is through, her main thing to do will be to survive. I was a junior in college, and I thought I had found a great way to make some extra money. I put an ad in the local paper, offering my services as a house sitter. I got a job right away, and before I knew it, I was spending my first night in a huge, expensive mansion. The owner was an architect named Lloyd Townsend. Mr. Townsend left that morning to join his wife, Madeline, in London for a month-long vacation. It was a beautiful house, but the weather was kind of giving me the creeps. Come on, Carol. Just drag your butt out of your apartment and get over here. Well, I'm all alone. We can study here. There's like 15 rooms. <laughs> Will you come on? It's just a little storm. What's the big deal? Oh, weird. You're not going to believe this? I'm watching TV and the show just changed to some guy mixing something with a shovel and his little dark room no I, I didn't touch anything wait, wait a minute yeah it's okay now I, I don't know it must have been some kind of cable access show I don't believe it the guy with the shovel's back what is up with this TV yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Weird. When I get nervous, I get hungry, and I was feeling really hungry. Gross. Gross. Really gross. Possible. It was so quiet in the house. I decided to give the TV another chance. Believe it. What? What is going on here? What is wrong with this thing? Okay, no more TV. Turn off. Turn off. Hey, this is insane.
There. Finally. I couldn't figure out what was happening. I was hearing the same scraping sound, but the TV was unplugged. No. No, that's not possible. Okay, who is doing this? Somebody here? Alex, is that you? I knew I was getting closer because the sound was getting louder. And that's when I saw it. I wasn't sure what it was at first. Why would anybody put a camera down here? suddenly realized I was standing in the same area as the man on the tape. But what had he been doing down here? What was he mixing? Is that... Who's there? My husband buried me alive. Who are you? I I'm Madeline Townsend. I'll get help. I called the police right away, and they freed Mrs. Townsend from the ash catcher. <laughs> Lloyd Townsend was arrested for attempted murder in Europe and brought back to the United States to stand trial. And me? I gave up house-sitting and went back to being a part-time waitress. The video that Ali saw was of Mr. Townsend mixing the mortar for the brick tomb he had encased his wife inside. Fortunately, Mrs. Townsend had suspected her husband for some time and had planted the video camera in the basement to spy on him. But how did the video keep turning up on the TV sets upstairs? Was it because the Townsends had recently rewired their home? But then, how did the camera turn itself on? In deciding whether this story is fact or fiction, put yourself in Allie's place. Are you occupying a space where trust resides? Or are you sitting in a house of lies?